In this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to enable Flatpak support, install, remove and manage Flatpak applications in Ubuntu Linux. Flatpak official website has a setup guide for most Linux systems, though some of them, such as Linux Mint and Fedora, now have out-of-the-box support for the package format. Ubuntu however will not support Flatpak by default, but it's easy to enable it by running a single command in terminal. Just press Ctrl Alt and T key combination on keyboard to open a terminal window and run sudo apt install flatpak command to install the daemon package in Ubuntu 20.04, Ubuntu 22.04, and higher will do the job. You may also enable flatpak support in the old Ubuntu 18.04 and even Ubuntu 16.04. First, add the flatpak official PPA repository via add apt repository command then use apt update command to refresh system package cache, finally run the apt install command to install the daemon package. After installing the daemon package, you're ready to install applications as flatpak packages. Other steps in the setup guide are optional. There are a few ways to get Flatpak app packages. Some software developers offer packages as Flatpak in their website. However, the most popular way is using the Flathub repository. There you can find tons of applications as Flatpak. Some Linux even support for installing applications from that repository using system default software managers. After downloading a Flatpak package, user can install the file easily by running Flatpak install command in a terminal window. It will show you the required permissions, runtime packages to download, as well as a few other information in the terminal output. You may either type Y and hit enter to continue installation, or type N and hit enter to refuse. Like normal applications, you may search for and open Flatpak apps, either from System Start Menu or Activities Overview, depends on your desktop environment. Besides downloading Flatpak file into local folder, you may just copy the link to that package and use command Flatpak install plus the URL you copied to install it. And in each app page in Flathub website, there's a command in the bottom for installing the app. Just copy the command and paste into a terminal window and hit enter to start the installing process. Note if your first time to install a Flatpak application, the command will not work until you added the Flathub repository into your system, which is available in Flatpak setup guide I mentioned as optional. For choice, you may install GNOME Software App plus Flatpak extension. With it, you can search for and install applications in native Debian package, Snap as well as Flatpak. However, it's slow and does not work now and then. At the moment of recording this tutorial, it just stuck at downloading software catalog. For those who prefer Linux commands, there's also Flatpak search command to search an application as Flatpak. In the output, you may copy the application ID and install it via Flatpak install, plus that ID command.
If the application is available in multiple repositories, it will prompt to select which one to install. And, it will ask if to install the runtime libraries. To uninstall a Flatpak application, you may first list all the installed packages by running Flatpak list command in terminal. Or use Flatpak list with app flag to exclude runtime libraries. Then, copy the application ID that you want to uninstall. Run flatpak uninstall command, plus that ID to uninstall the packages. To also remove the personal app data, add delete data flag in the uninstall command. Then it will ask if to remove the data during the process. For the runtime libraries that installed along with applications, use flatpak uninstall unused command to remove them. After trying out more and more flatpak applications, you may have multiple repositories added in your system. To check it out, run flatpak remotes command in terminal. For beta and nightly repositories, you may remove them one by one by running flatpak remote delete command plus repository name in the output. The user flag is also required for current user only repository. During the removing process, it will ask if to remove the applications installed from that repository. You may choose to keep or remove them as you want. There are a few commands to manage Flatpak permissions. However, I prefer to use the graphical app called Flatseal to do the job, which is available in the Flathub repository. Just installed it via either way that I previously mentioned. Launch it from start menu, you may then manage permissions via on-off switches for either single or global applications. That's all. Thanks for watching.